Hello everybody, we're going to do a workout today for our kids karate program. So we're going to practice some basics today and we're going to do it so that parents are going to get involved. So if your parents are not in the room, go ahead and stop it and make sure they come in the room and you're going to need a couch cushion and a piece of paper or cardboard. So I'm going to ask Mr. Stopper to come on in. All right, let's get started. And pepper jumps, go, start bouncing, bounce, 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 bounce. Get loosened up, shake it out, shake it out. All right, start crisscrossing your legs and moving around. Just gonna get warmed up. And feet together. Square horse stance, ready, go. Stand. Hands out, arm rotations. Start small and get real wide. And reverse it. Start small and get very, very wide. Like you're trying to fly away. All right, feet together. Okay, get into your fighting stance, right leg back when I say go. Ready, one, two, three, go! Eight! Very good. Leg lifts, 10, and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch your stance, ready, and go! Set! All right, 10 more, ready, and go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, now the next leg lift we're gonna do, we're gonna do a crescent leg lift, a swinging leg lift. We're gonna practice our kicks right now. And the way this is gonna work, you're not gonna do it on a bag, but I'm gonna show you the kick. So Mr. Stop, go ahead and get your right leg back. Good. So a front kick, as we know, when someone kicks, it hits the front of the pad, just like the front kicks or the side kick. And then when we do our wheel kick, we're coming to the side. That's what our crescent kick is doing. So from here, from the back leg, I'm gonna hold the pad up, and you're gonna do your crescent kick. Ready, and hit. Set. Okay, so face front. So the crescent kick is also swinging around and hitting with the knife edge of the foot. So we're gonna practice that by doing some swinging leg lifts. Now, we're just going to do five, five leg lifts. Ready? And get your stance. And one. One. Okay, now let it swing all the way around like a crescent. Ready? And two. Two. Very nice. Let's do it again. Good stance. Ready? And three. Three. Hands up. Ready? And four. Four. Ready? And five. Five. All right, switch your stance. Set. Okay, now remember, focus on coming up at an angle and keeping your legs straight and swinging it all the way around to the back. Ready? And one. One. And two. Two. And three. Three. And four. Four. And five. Five. Very nice, shake it out. Okay, let's do 10 jumping jacks real quick. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, shake it out again. Here we go. When I say go, getting your fighting stance right leg back. Ready, one, two, three, go. Eight. All right, from here, you're gonna do that jab, but we're not just gonna jab, we're gonna shuffle forward with our jab. Ready, and hit, eight. eight. Ready, and hit, eight. eight. All right, now we're gonna shuffle back. Ready, and hit, eight. Hit, eight. Hit, eight. Hit, eight. All right, this time we're gonna shuffle forward, but we're gonna do our jab cross. Now make sure to turn on your cross. Ready, and hit, eight. 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 Ready, and hit, eight. eight. And hit, eight, eight. Shuffle back, jab, cross. Ready? And hit, eight, eight. And hit, eight, eight. And hit, eight, eight. All right, switch your stance. Eight. All right, hands are up. Shuffle forward with that jab. Ready and hit, eight. Hit, eight. Hit, eight. Shuffle back. Ready and hit, eight. Hit, eight. Hit, eight. Shuffle forward, jab, cross. Ready? And hit, eight, eight. And hit, eight, eight. And hit, eight, eight. Shuffle back, ready, and hit, eight, eight. And hit, eight, eight. And hit, eight, eight. And shake it out, very nice. Score horse stance, set. Set up strong, bend your knees. Let me see that focus, see if you can hold that square horse stance for a minute. Let me see. I can't see you, but I'm pretending that I can. Look good. All right, ready. From here, block set one. So 
sure to use your left, okay? Starting with your right hand, ready? Let's do what I do, say what I say. Upward block. Upward block. Inward block. Inward block. Outward extended. Outward extended. Downward. Downward. Back. Back. Palm. Palm. Other side. Upward block. Upward block. Inward block. Inward block. Outward extended. Outward extended. Downward. Downward. Back. Back. Palm. Palm. Upward block. Upward block. Inward block. Inward block. Outward extended. Outward extended. Downward. Downward. Back. Back. Palm. Palm. Other side. Upward block. Upward block. Inward block. Inward block. Outward extended. Outward extended. Downward. Downward. Back. Back. Palm. Palm. All right. Feet together. When I say go, drop down in that score horse stance again. Kiai loud and proud. Ready? One, two, three, go! Eight! All right. This time when I say hit, eight, 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 and freeze. Ready? And hit! Eight, 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 eight! All right. Other side. Ready? And hit! Eight, 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 eight! All right. Let's make this one a little faster, a little stronger, loud and key eyes. Ready? And hit! All right, other side, ready and hit! Eight, 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 eight! All right, hands here, let's get challenge. All right, so the challenge is gonna be to do both sides at the same time, so let's do it together one time. Ready? Upward. Upward. Inward. Inward. Outward extended. Outward extended. Downward. Downward. Back. Back. Palm. Palm. All right, hands at your side. Let's see if you can do it. Let's just do this one really slow and make it perfect form. Ready? And go. Eight! Eight, 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 eight. All right, hands back at your side. All right, pick it up just a little bit. A little stronger key eye, ready? And go. Eight, 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 eight. All right, hands here. Last one, best one. Strong as you can, black belt attitude, key eye loud and proud, ready? And go. Eight, 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 eight. And feet together. Give yourself a hand, good job. All right, parents, if you can hear me, come on into the room. And if they're not there, pause the video and go get them, all right? What we're gonna need to start this training is you're gonna need either a kick shield or a pad of some kind, or just a pillow. So anything or a couch cushion, something that you can make contact with. Today, since we are in the dojo, we have all of our stuff, and we're gonna use the kick shield. All right, so we're gonna start off warming up with some basic, simple front kicks, ready? So parents, when you're holding the pad, if you're gonna hold it away from your body, extend it, but keep your arms kind of bent because they're gonna kick into it. The best way to hold it is hold it into your body, but depending how strong your kicker is, you'll make that decision. Now, make sure because we are kicking, let's start off slow, we're not in the dojo, we're not in the mats, if you, I don't know if you're on carpet or if you're on tile or if you're outside, wherever you are, remember that environmental awareness is a thing Make sure that you're safe when you're doing this exercise, okay? So, get into your fighting stance. Eight. Now, front kicks, everyone has been doing front kicks. So today, we're going to do two front kicks. We're gonna do a front kick from the front leg and the back leg. So parents, when you're doing this, they're gonna kick with me, but if you wanna pause the video and have them do extras just to practice, feel free. So from here, I'm gonna hold it close to my body because Mr. Stopper is a strong kicker. So we're gonna do it slow, so he's gonna, when I say kick, He's gonna do two kicks, front leg and then back leg. So, kick. Eight, eight. Nice, okay. Is everybody ready? We'll do one more slow and then we'll get on it. Ready, and kick. Eight, eight. Okay, here we go. Parents, have those cushions and that target up strong. Ready, and kick. Eight, eight. Nice, ready, and kick. Eight, eight. Ready, and kick. Eight, eight. Very nice, okay, go ahead and switch your stance. Eight. Okay. So you should be on the opposite side now. So we're gonna do two slow so we can practice. One front leg, one back leg. Ready? And kick. Eight, eight. Perfect, ready? And kick. Eight, eight. All right, this is where we get real. Get that black belt attitude, get that good stance, get that look on your face. Here we go, ready? And kick. Eight, eight. Strong, ready and kick. Eight, eight. Ready and kick. Eight, eight. Very nice, good job, air five. There we go. Now, practicing the front kicks, everybody say, knee before a kick. Knee before a kick. Make sure that those tucks come up strong when we're doing those front kicks. This is not a swinging kick right now. We're gonna bring that kick knee up first and then execute the front kick. So, hands are up. 
face the camera. Parents, stay right where you're at. Just let them face the TV or monitor or wherever they're watching. Hands up. When I say kick, do both kicks in the air for me. Keep the hands up. Work good tucks. Everybody say, knee before kick. Knee before kick. Ready? And kick. Eyes. Eyes. Nice. Get those hands up. Bend the knees. Ready? And kick. Eyes. Eyes. One more time. Ready? And kick. Eyes. Eyes. Very nice. All right, go ahead and switch. Set. All right, hands are up. Ready? And kick. Eyes. Eyes. Perfect tucks. Ready? And kick. Eyes. Eyes. Oh, there must be a reason he's a 4th degree black belt. Ready? And kick. Eyes. Eyes. And feet together. Set. Very nice. Give yourself a big high five. Give your parents a high five. Boom. Okay. So, we're going to still work with our front kicks, but we're going to work a little bit of timing now. So get in your fighting stance. Set. When I say switch, you're going to switch on the other side. Eight. And do your front kick. Boom. And lock it down. Ready? So from here, we'll do it slow. Let's do it nice and easy. Hands are up. Good stance. Ready? And switch. Eight. Eight. Set. And down. Ready? And switch. Eight. 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 And down. Ready and switch. Eight. Eight. And down. Ready and switch. Eight. Eight. And down. Okay. Get together. All right, parents, here's where we get in this targets again. So hold them nice and strong. Students get in good stances. Ready? Set. All right. So switch first and then do the front kick. Remember, we're looking to be explosive, so you want to be fast on your switch. Good tuck, good kick. Ready? And hit. Very nice. Let's do it again. Ready and hit. Set, set. Ready and hit. Set, set. Ready and hit. Set, set. And hit. Set, set. And hit. Set, set. Very nice. Okay. We're going to keep doing this, but we're going to add a little something to it. So now when you do it, you're going to do two front kicks. If you know how to do your chicken kick, do your chicken kick. Now for a chicken kick, I'm not going to hold it high, so you're still going to kick into the pad, but Mr. Stopper, you're going to bring your front leg and then hop and do the kick in the back leg. Ready? And kick. Set. And then you're already on the other side. Ready? And kick. Set. Ready? And kick. Set. Ready? And kick. Set. Okay. So if you don't know your chicken kick, I want you to do two front kicks, which is front leg, back leg. Ready? And kick. Set. Set. And then go to your other side. Ready and kick, set, set. Then other side, ready and kick, set, set. Okay. All right, parents, so here we go. Whichever one they choose to do, this is something for them to make the choice. They can do both, they can mix it up or stick to one, whatever they want to do. But get those bags tight, ready. Mr. Shopper, you can do whatever you want. Ready and kick, set. I knew he was going to jump. Ready and kick, set. Ready and kick, set. Ready and kick, set. And kick. Awesome, feet together, air five. Very nice. Good job. So, shake it out. You guys should be getting a little bit of workout now. Parents, you might be more tired than the kids are right now. When I say go, get in your fighting stance, right leg back, but when you do it, sir, I'm gonna have you step back with the left leg. Ready? When we do it, we're gonna throw our four knuckle punch. Ready? And hit, eight. Now we're gonna keep walking backwards, eight. Throwing our four knuckle punch. You're punching from the back hand. Ready? And hit, eight. Ready and hit, eight. Ready and hit, eight. Now we're gonna step forward, throwing the four knuckle punch. Ready? And move, eight. And move, eight. And move, eight. Now we're gonna step back again. Ready? And move. And move, eight, and move, eight. Step forward again, ready. And move, eight, and move, eight, and move, eight. And feet together. Now the cool thing about this is we're getting to practice a lot of different things. We're practicing our movement, our good stances, and our strikes. And you can do any strike you want to do when you do this. For example, sir, we're going to step back, knife hand chop, ready. Let's step back with our left so we look to them, feel like you're stepping back with the right. Ready? Step back with your right leg when I say go. Ready? And move. Eight. Eight. Now walk backwards with your knife hand chops. Ready? And move. Eight. And move. Set. And move. Eight. Eight. Now walk forward 
with your tiger claw. Ready and move. Eight. And move. Eight. And move. Eight. You can even practice your blocks. Step back with your inward block. Ready and move. Eight. And move. Eight. And move. Set. Step forward with your outward block. Ready and move. Eight. And move. Eight. And move. Eight. Feet together. Give yourselves a hand. Good job. Stop. Thank you. All right. So that's the class for today. Now remember, just because we only have a 10 or a 12 minute video or whatever the time is on this video, doesn't mean that's all you have to practice. Once you see the video, play it again, or just pick certain things that you want to do and really focus on those. The secret to a black belt attitude is it's what you're doing when you're not in front of your instructor, when you're not in front of Master Dollhouse, when you're not in front of me. How are you practicing? That's the important part. And you don't have to practice for a long time. Maybe give yourself 15, 20 minutes a day. While we're at home, while we're not in school and we're not able to go to recess or go play with our friends or go to the park, it's important that we keep ourselves moving. It's important that we keep doing our martial arts so that we're moving forward. To this Last week we had a track test phenomenal track test and we have two of our students that are going to be the first two students ever to achieve their next belt via the video training which is something I never thought I was going to do but I am so proud of them for stepping up and really working hard with these videos. I'm starting to get a lot of training practice logs in. Make sure you're turning those in, completing your practice logs and as always like, share the videos, and record yourself doing something in this workout today and post it in the comments section below. Parents, it's fantastic that you have had to step up in the way that you have. Not only are you parents, but you're the school teachers and now you're even karate instructors. So hang in there, you're doing an awesome job. We are proud of you. And as always, if there's anything we can do for you, feel free to reach out to me via email or to call us. We are checking the school messages. We're very active on Facebook, on Messenger, on our email. So anything we can do for you, we're there to help. Get together. Be safe, and I'll see you next time.